Greetings. Just here in the Tallawa Dunes State Park. Taking in some of the other part of the environment here. Not the dunes, but the lush, damp forest. Full of mushrooms like this Don't Touch Amanita. I'm just gonna take a quick peek around here. It's winter, so the ants have all gone away. It's very interesting in here. A lot of sort of mossy areas. It's very quiet. A lot of little mushrooms and things sort of clinging to everything. Lichens and mosses. What kind of place you sort of feel you can get lost in but you really can't. It's at best uh, maybe a mile wide from the beach to the edge of the cow pastures or out in some cow country out here. It's a very interesting little state park. It has the dunes, it's beach grass, rolling dunes, waves crashing a remote section of beach called Pelican Bay. I guess we'll pop down to the beach trail here. Walking past all sorts of little funguses. And I don't know what they are. And there's these interesting little ones here. dead beetle. Oh, these little itty bitty little mushrooms. Unfortunately, uh, all these ants doesn't really do mushrooms. Not our favorite food to be sure as a survival food. They're practical but not reliable due to their seasonality. Here's another bright amanita. They are sure eye-catching, aren't they? With all this moss. And this could, uh, there's another little one up there too. Little patch of Amanita here. Very interesting. But out here in the dunes, you can sometimes, even in the winter, come across ant mounds. They're pretty big, pretty sizable. You'd be surprised. Unfortunately, as much as we despise ants, we still respect them as an important part of nature. Extremely important part of nature. We really can't live without them as much as we can't live with them. The people come out and smash the dunes or the mounds down just to be destructive. It doesn't do anything. And there's a little breeze coming through. Lovely little breeze. And here, since it is after the ants, this is how we like to see the ant mounds. It's all overgrown. There doesn't seem to be anybody home. But normally this would just be crawling with many, many red ants, red and black ones. We always called them fire ants. I don't know what they really are. Perhaps somebody like one of those ants channels like Ants Canada or something like that could help us out with what sort of ants we find in the Northern California dunes in these mounds. Here's another one. Yes, the kind of mound you can approach without worry. These two mounds have been, this colony really has been in this little area for decades it seems. You can kind of see how large they can get when you've got a walking stick here coming up to my waist, you know. That's a good two feet high. The other one was, excuse me, at least two, maybe even three on its lower side. But the sun's just come out. It's a warm, warm day out here. Tallawa Dunes. I've been blessed with some warm weather this summer. I'm sorry, this fall. And into winter. But today, 
lovely. I'm just gonna get up here into the sun and say hello to the sun and get moving on. There's another little mushroom down there. Ooh, a little breezy. Oh, look at this. Sunny, stunning weather. Yeah. It's about a 1.5 mile little walk out to the through the dunes to the beach. Not too shabby. And uh, interestingly, in addition to the mushrooms, let's have a funny one here. You might be seeing its leaves already. It's a eucalyptus. Look at this thing. That's a, that's a trip. <laughs> a shaky cam with us down here. Ooh. Wow. Boy, it sure smells like eu eucalyptus. It's pungent. Wow. Where's the koala? <laughs> that's amazing. Well, good day, Mr. Eucalyptus. Wow. Thank you so much to all of you on this good day for joining us at the Tallow Dune State Park after the ants.